Hello, Stizorm here. Uh, just wanted to show a brand new acquisition, the Cold Steel Trench Hawk. And I'm still getting a little grease out of it, out of the uh, articulated sheath here. And uh, just got this today from a Cold Steel forum user, Mike Saster. And uh, I am really impressed. This is the first cold steel tomahawk I've bought that is sharp right out of the box. I mean, sharp enough for a tomahawk. And that doesn't mean sharp enough to um, cut butter. It means sharp enough to, in my opinion, sharp enough to cut paper. Uh, not like my opinion means anything. But, let's see. I was going to find a piece of paper, but... Uh, I thought I had some old form from the agency, and uh, yes, expired form. All right, expired blank form. All right, and here goes. So again, and that's a tomahawk. That's not a knife or anything. That is something that can also cut wood, uh, a lot of utility work. Uh, I just got it as a, as a fun addition to my collection of weird pointy things, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, handles well, of course it's tomahawk, it's a little end heavy because all the weight is at the end. Um, and it's a little weird that, that it has the uh, synthetic handle, but probably weird in a good way. Um, uh, I'll get back on how well I like it uh, a little down the road after it's maybe taken some trips through the woods with me. has these finger grooves right up by the head so you can choke up. Presumably that's either for light work or delicate work or not so delicate work um, in a uh, combat role. So, overall I like like the whole thing. Uh, it would be nicer if the sheath were a little, little um, quicker to use. It's actually it's totally secure when it's put through a belt. You don't have to worry about either side like that. That's probably not the smartest thing to do, but um, yeah, just the whole thing locks up really nice. I think if a strap could be inserted through the top here. It could actually be slung from a uh, shoulder sling, sort of, and you wouldn't have to worry about where the hell you put your articulated fancy synthetic sheath. The only other issue I'm having with the sheath is that the preservative grease is still stuck in it, and it keeps coming off on the blade. I don't know if that's picking that up or if the angle's wrong. I don't even know if my face is in camera, and uh, not like you'd be missing anything there. So, again, I really like the construction. It's novel. It's uh, it's interesting. It really, I, it, the head is a little smaller than I thought it would be, but um, it what an interesting design. I I am really impressed, especially at the price point. Um, Mike gave me a deal. He said for forty five dollars. Um, so $45 out the door uh, got me this really neat hawk. And I was also impressed with, I don't know if this is picking this up at all, how beautifully done the convex edge is. And the whole shape of the blade is convex. Um, which is really how, you know, according to what the, the experts say, really how uh, a nicely made axe or hatchet or tomahawk should be. Um, this back spike is just ridiculous. It's it's absolutely just nasty. I, I don't even have a word for how how terrifying this thing is. Um, but yeah, I, I look forward to doing some kinds of uh, testing with it. Not, not destructive testing, obviously, because this is cool and it has a little story. Uh, meeting a forum member and everything like that. Um, Enough room for two hands, really enough room for two hands here, and you can also parry with it, or block. Um, 
again, I saw a sword buyer's guide clip that really made me wonder how cut resistant this handle was. Uh, if I find a replacement handle, I may get a couple of them and just experiment and see, put the handle in a vise and see if I can cut through it. Um, because it doesn't have the grain uh, that would fight that like wood does. Uh, wood is very cut resistant, uh, well dry wood is anyway, and uh, especially since they use straight grained hickory. But I wanted to give this one a try. Uh, I, I am just loving it completely so far. I, I haven't really found anything about it I don't like. Again, the sheath could be improved. Um, as far as speed and uh, uh, expediency, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it is a neat, neat little uh, tool and weapon here. Uh, just think it's pretty neat. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so, before I get too redundant, I think I'm going to turn off the video. So, again, thanks, and thanks to Mike Saster for letting me in on the forum uh, discount. Okay. Have a good one. Night, YouTube.